the Olympic Committee in the year 1896. The Greek Dimitrios Pikelas is the first president and Coubertin the secretary general. On the 25th of March, according to the Julian calendar, that means on the 6th of April in our calendar, the first Olympic Games of modern history commence. Athens, then only 80,000 inhabitants, is turned upside down in those days. In the Panathinaic Stadium, there are about 70,000 spectators and eight photographers. The American James Connolly wins the triple jump on the first day and is the first Olympic winner of modern history. An American is also the winner in the antique discipline of the discus. The French athletes turn out to have the upper hand in cycling, the Germans in wrestling, gymnastics and weightlifting. After the marathon, the Greek soul is happy too, and Coubertin says enthusiastically, Spiridon Louis was a magnificent peasant shepherd, dressed in the popular kilt and quite unfamiliar with the finer points of scientific training, or in fact, the modern notion of training at all. His victory was magnificent in its brilliance and simplicity. I shall never forget the scene, and it left me convinced that psychic forces play a much more active role in sport than is generally believed.